Well, uh, there are a lot of things that I love about Hyderabad. Uh, but before I say anything, uh, thanks for coming here. It's a real pleasure sharing the stage with you. We are big fans of your work, so thanks for coming. Uh, the moment you talk about Hy Hyderabad, you know, biryani is the first thing that people talk about. And uh, when I started playing cricket, when I was playing first class cricket, I, I think it was 2000 and we had a game over here. So that was my first introduction to the Hyderabadi biryani. And after that, whenever we have come here, biryani is something that we can't really miss. We, of course, we come here for cricket, but biryani is something that we can't miss along with the other food. Uh, I feel the cuisine over here is great. Uh, Another thing that I like is the biscuits, the bakery biscuits from here. They are fantastic. And along with it has its own specialities, the bangles for the ladies. So I picked a few for my wife. But uh, also we, we have got very good support over here. As a Indian cricket team, whenever we come here, the people, they come out, they support us. And we have got a very good record in Hyderabad. You know, we have done very well as a cricket team. So. It, it feels good to be here. It's a pleasure being here. Thanks to all of you, you know, for, for coming over here and giving me a very warm reception. So having such a busy schedule, Tamil release and today Telugu, did you get your load of biryani? Did you get your load of biryani? Well, yes, I did. You know, uh, of course, I, I didn't eat a lot because this was just before we were coming here. So I did get a, a bit of it uh, and, you know, Hopefully, I'll come here back soon and I can literally hog the biryani. There are so many people here just to see you. Your fans look upon you as their hero. So what's a message that you want to give to them? Well, personally, if you ask me, I feel, you know, you have to be honest in life. You have to be honest to yourself. You have to be practical. You have to take risk in life. But at the same time, you know, you, you have to be calculated. You can't just say, okay, I took a risky option at some point of time. You have to be ready with, uh, ready for the kind of talent that's really needed to achieve what you want to achieve. But at the same time, you know, you have to take risk in life. So for me, being honest in life is very important. Hard work that you have to put, you know, irrespective of what your profession is. The hard work, the honesty, respecting the elders, which I feel is the key. You know, if you don't respect the elders, be it your parents or be it anyone, you know, it becomes very difficult to be successful in life. Being humble, you know, try to be, when you enter, let's say, any big building, you know, right from the first man you meet to maybe the managing director, you have to be the same to each and everyone. So uh, that's what life is all about. Go through the difficult periods, fight it out. But if you can do it with a smile, you know, that you'll become part of maybe the five person, persons, you know, who can actually do it because at times we crib about life, about the tough period, but what's important is to go through because it's a tough period that actually make you a better human being. Now we understand that you're not only handsome from outside, but from inside too, Mr. Dhoni. You are handsome from inside too. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Mr. Cool Captain. So have you watched any Telugu movies? Me? Uh, okay, if I say the... Wrong name, you know, don't, don't really scold me, but a few years back I watched Aparijit. I, I believe it was in Telugu, if I'm not wrong. I saw the whole subtitles and, and, and last year Bahubali I saw, you know, and, and I, I just loved it. It was a fantastic movie. We are waiting for the sequel, of course. Uh, but yes, the, the last one that I watched was Bahubali. Of course, it was dubbed in Hindi also, so, you know, it was slightly easier, but, um, you know, I feel in South, there are a lot of very good actors and there are a lot of very good movies that are made in South and you can actually see a lot of remake getting done in the Bollywood. So, you know, uh, the people over here, they have got some nice stories, they act well, they direct well and, you know, the fans are fantastic, uh, which, which is very important because you need the fan base to make a movie of that scale and then when it gets appreciated, you know, you, you push to make better ones. And talking about Sushant Singh Rajput, he's put his heart and soul into the movie. He looks exactly like you, he's behaved like you, and we can see the helicopter shot here. So how was it watching for the first time the trailer? How did you feel? Uh, 
yes, he looks exactly like me. He has played close to nine months of cricket. He's practiced two, two and a half hours every day. So the most difficult part was to, you know, enact the cricketing shots. And he, I, I feel he's a very good actor. So when it comes to doing all the stuff that I do, I knew he would easily achieve that. The only thing was he asked me a, too many questions as to what goes in my mind to really get into the character. So that part was difficult. But other than that, I, I feel he has done a brilliant work. And it's all his hard work that's actually showing on the screen. One last question, Mr. Dhoni. It's been nine years since India won the T20 World Cup. So how does it feel? Uh, it was a very special day. The reason being the 2007-50 over World Cup, we had not done well. So immediately, more often than not, you don't get a chance to some extent to redeem yourself. You know, we were all very disappointed with the performance. So we wanted to make this World Cup special, which was the T20 World Cup. And I'm glad the team performed to the potential. You know, we, we went there, we expressed, our, expressed ourselves, and uh, we it took everything in our stride. And that, I feel, is very important because it's not literally a script that you have to follow, you know, when it comes to the tournament. So you have to be adaptive, you have to be responsive. And I just feel it was uh, a big turning point for us, you know, as cricketers, because from there on, we, we definitely saw a lot more ups and downs in cricket. but. More often than not, we were on the winning side, and that I feel was the, definitely the changing point. You are inspiration, like millions of Indians, like me. He's an inspiration for me. I an audio function round is a privilege. I would happily be here. I am happily here today. Mano, we started watching cricket. My generation started.